How long? One hour. We will wait one hour. If it hasn't moved then, we shall make a plan. Well, I don't know. Until it goes away. It could be days. Well? I don't know. Maybe we could get past it on the gully. Ah, oh, that's too dangerous. What do you think, Beanpole? I think we can destruct it. You mean just destroy it? Destroy it. Yes. I have made a plan. First, we must find out if it is alone. One of us must climb out and to look out of the gully. Like a fat man, the tripod cannot see his feet. And here are Will, otherwise known as John Shackley, Henry, alias Jim Baker, and Beanpole, who in real life is Kerry Seal. Welcome to the programme. Thank, Thank you. And if Kerry looks familiar, you might have seen him as William Bagthorpe in the Bagthorpe saga. Welcome to Blue Peter. Congratulations on getting leading parts. It's such an exciting series. Oh, yeah, very well done. <laughs> Did you know one another before the series, before Tripods? No, we met yeah. at the auditions. Uh, it took six months to film, so uh, we know each other pretty well now. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. and again, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, Kerry. Oh, sorry, Jim. Just as well you got on having to hang around, waiting for all those special effects. Yeah, yeah that, that was, was quite tricky. Mm, was Has any time. of you ever read the book that the TV series was adapted from? Well, I, a weird thing was, I read it about seven years ago, in the first year of my school. And as soon as I found out I had the audition, I went straight to the library to get the book out. And there was this illiterate little signature of mine <laughs> from the first year when I was really young. You know? And you went back in the sixth form? And it was the same book, yeah. The very oh, same book. That's an extraordinary yeah. coincidence. Yeah. Isn't it? And even then I thought, oh, I fancy this beanpole guy. So I thought, <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, this is a Well, you, you certainly yeah. got the height for it. I think you're taller than I am. How tall are you? Six foot three. Perfect for the part. <laughs> I slouch. <yeah. laughs> now, Jim, what was it like acting with the tripods? Uh, with these things, that was, yeah. it was quite difficult. They had to uh, be moved around and we had to wait for them to be moved around, so it wasn't just us sort of pretending to look at the tripods. Yeah. On most of the occasions, they were there, so we it had to wait for them. It must have been hard yeah. trying to produce a good performance while you're being hoisted through the treetops mm. by a tripod. Oh, well, John would know about that. Yeah, well, I did actually go up on the tripod claw, and it, you just need, a, basically, to be very fit yeah. to be able to do it, because um, you have to wear harnesses and things, mm. and you need a lot of agility as well, just mm. to manoeuvre yourself around. That's good. I noticed, Kerry, you're wearing glasses, and in mm. the first series, we know that there's no mechanical gadgets. Mm. So how did he get by with having glasses on? Well, the thing is, being out of that, the <laughs> being <laughs> is a, a mega genius, you see, oh, so, so right. I got out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, he invents yeah. his own glasses, you see, out of all different bits of bottle tops and things like that. I don't know actually how he does it. Could you see out plastic. of them? Sticky <laughs> back plastic, yeah. Could you see out and, of them? <laughs> And, um, but later on, because I couldn't yeah. see two of them, you're right, I got, a, I got another proper pair. We wrote it into the script that I, I found a pair so I could see. That's very so, handy. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Very yeah. convenient. Apart from um, fighting with the tripods, did you do any hand-to-hand -hand fighting? Oh, yeah, there was, there, was, uh, there was one scene later on in the episodes where uh, me and Henry have a fight. And we arranged it with the stunt arranger. And um, it was very funny because the stunt arranger took me to one side and said, OK, we're going to go for a take now. Now, when we do it, I want you to really, because we, we were boys, mm. we, we had to do like boys fighting, slap yes. on the face and things. He said, I want you to really slap Jim on the face, really, really real. throw it, yeah, and that'll make him go, and then you can bounce off him, you know. So I thought, yeah, great. And then he took Jim to one side and he said, okay, when you fake the slap, I want you to really punch him in the gut. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I go, yeah, okay, action, and I go, shut up, Henry. Bang! And he goes, boom, and we sort of like started fighting him. <laughs> Different all over. Oh, it looked real. It, it was real. real. What do you mean? It looks real. <laughs> well, you didn't get too head. carried away and black one another's eyes then. 
stop him. I know he's going to stop that. Yeah, it's a bit too much. Macho man here. I felt the adrenaline in pumping around my body really quickly after yeah. that. Yeah. Because of that, it was so, it mm. was real. So the stuntman was absolutely right. Oh, yeah. Well, after, oh, after was, we did yeah. it, we were like, that's right. a good way of working it, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. At least you get live action. Yeah, yeah. it's more mm. of so you got to go Oh, you told him to hit me. He's so and so. It's fascinating hearing all the tricks that went on behind the scenes. And thank you very much for taking time off your very busy rehearsal schedule and yeah, coming along to talk to us. And we wish you the best thank of luck you. with Series thank 2. Yeah. And we'll end with a final glimpse of the tripods in action. One of the most terrifying things about them is that they loom up when they're least expected, as Will discovers when he takes a moonlight ride on horseback.